Welcome to Too Easy to Learn. Hello students. In this lesson, I will discuss the area of a triangle. We will explore two types of formula for finding the area of triangle, the geometrical formula and the trigonometric formula. I will explain how and where these formulas are applied. Additionally, we will solve some exam question. Stay with us till the end to gain complete understanding of this topic. Before we start, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and press the bell button to stay updated with new lessons. Explore the full course at tooeasytolearn.com. Let's start our lesson. Area of triangle. As we have discussed, we are going to disc we are going to find two types of formula, the geometrical formula and trigonometric formula. The first one is Geometrical formula area of triangle is equal to 1 over 2 times base times height. It is very basic and simple formula, but we have to get the understanding of the base and height in a triangle. This is a acute angle triangle and we if we select this side, this horizontal side as a base, what should be the height of the triangle? The rule to find the height of the triangle is from the opposite corner, the perpendicular from the opposite corner. This is opposite corner. So this yellow line is perpendicular to this base line and this is the height of triangle. You will use this pair to find area of triangle base into height. But if we select this line as a base line, then the height will change. And the rule is a perpendicular from opposite corner. This is the opposite corner. We will draw a perpendicular line from this point to this base line. And this is the height of triangle. Now you will use this pair base and height to find the area of triangle. And if you select this base line, opposite corner is this one, and you will draw a perpendicular from this point to this baseline and this will be the height of triangle. Now you will use this pair of base and height to calculate the area of triangle. These triangles are acute angle triangle but if the triangle is right angle triangle now this horizontal line and this vertical lines are already perpendicular to each other. So we can select one side as a base and other side as a height. If I select this line as a baseline horizontal, then this vertical line will be the height. In reverse, if I select this horizontal line as a height, you will select this vertical line as a base. So keep it in your mind when you have a right angle triangle. So leg of Legs of right angles are used as a base and height. Now, I have shown you a obtuse angle triangle. If I select this line as a base line, opposite corner is this one. We will draw a perpendicular from this point to this line and this will be the height of triangle. You will use this pair as a, to find the area of triangle. But if I select this line, horizontal line, as a baseline, opposite corner is this one. And it is outside the baseline. But we have to do a perpendicular from this point to the baseline. Therefore, we will extend this baseline as a guideline. This green line is a guideline. And we will draw a perpendicular from this point to this guideline. Now, you will select this perpendicular height as a height of a triangle and you will use this base and height as a pair to find the area of triangle. Again, if I select this line as a base line, opposite corner is this one which is already which is also outside the base line. So we have to extend a guideline. This line baseline will be extended and we will draw a perpendicular height from this point to this guideline and this is the height of triangle 
for this space line. So you will use this pair H and base to find the area of triangle. I hope you students you have full understanding of finding base and height of each triangle. Let's solve one question. Find the area of triangle ABC. So 8.7 meter. AC is 9.5 meter and BC is a 10.3 meter. Now we will have to select the base and height. Now this line B to this AC, this is the perpendicular. 8.7 is the height. And this 8.7 is perpendicular to the AC. So we will select AC as a base line. 10.3 will not be selected as a base line. So 8.7 and 9.5 are used as a pair base and height to find the area of triangle. So area of triangle 1 over 2 base into height 1 over 2 a base, base is AC times height plug in values 1 over 2 times 9.5 times 8.7 use your calculator your answer is 41.325 round off three significant figure final answer is 41.3 now let's discuss trigonometric formula <clears throat> Area of triangle is 1 over 2 AB sin theta. Let's understand what is meant by A, B and theta in this formula. So for example, we have a triangle ABC. This is like angle A, angle B and angle C. Opposite this angle, the side is A. Opposite angle B, the side is B. And opposite this angle <coughs> Is, is, uh, this angle C, the opposite side is C. Now, when we are using this formula, two sides and included angle is given. What is meant by this? We must have two sides, for example, A is 10 and the B is 15 and included angle. Included angle means the angle between these two sides. This is angle C, which is 60 degree. This is the theta. If we have other angle, which is not included, this formula cannot be used. So keep this in your mind that the angle must be included. Two sides are given and the angle must be in between these two sides. Then you can apply this formula. So let's plug in the values of these. So 1 over 2 value of A is 10, value of B is 15. Theta is 60 degree, sine 60 degree. One again, once again, the precaution is this is sine. Don't use any other ratio cause at 10. So when you are writing the trigonometric formula of area of triangle, that is 1 over 2 AB sine theta. This is the sine. Sometimes the student forget and use cause and tan. That is absolutely wrong. Now use your calculator. Your answer is area of triangle is 64.95 round it off three significant figure here nine is a third significant figure after that the number is five so nine will be rounded up it will become 10 so 10 we will give the carry to four so it will become 65 unit square I hope my dear students you have full understanding of this formula how to identify when should I apply trigonometric formula this is the most important question because you people have two formula 1 over 2 base into height and the other one is 1 over 2 a b sine theta if you observe in this question the angle is involved if the angle is involved in question mean that the angle is given our angle is to be found then use this formula trigonometric formula to find the area of triangle if angle is not involved then you can use 1 over 2 base into height let's solve one exam question in triangle abc if bc is x ac is 2x and angle c is 112 degree the area of triangle abc is 16.3 centimeter square find the length bc mean we have to find x 
Give your answer correct to two significant figures. Dear students, in this formula, angle is involved. That's why we will use area of triangle 1 over 2 AB sin theta. So two sides X and AC is 2X. Included angle is 112. So we can use this value in this formula. Value of A, we can write X. Value of B, we can write 2X sine and value of theta is 1, 1, 2, 112 degree. Now, area of triangle is also given. So we will plug in this value. So 16.3 is equal to 1 over 2 times x times 2x times sine 112 degree. This 2 will cancel by this 2. So what we will get? 16.3. So x multiplied by x, x square and times sine 112. Again, this 2 is cancelled by this 2. And x times x is equal to x square and sine 112. Sine 112 is divide, multiplying on right side. When it will go to the left side, it will be dividing. So 16.3 divided by sine 112 is equal to x square. Now use your calculator, find 16.3 divided by sine 112, it will be 17.58. We have x square. Now we have to remove this square. We will take square root on both sides. Square will be cancelled by this square root and square root of 17.58 is 4.19. Now in this question, correction is given two significant figure. Second significant figure is one. And after the number is nine, which is greater than five. So one will be rounded up. So final answer is 4.2 unit. Whatever the unit, if it is a centimeter, yes, 4.2 centimeter. I hope with the help of this question, you know how to apply trigonometric formula and where to apply a trigonometric formula. At the end, learn by heart. We have two formula. You have to learn it. One over two base into height. The most important thing you must understand which side is the base and according to dash base, what should be the height. And trigonometric formula, two sides and included angle is given. One over two AB sine theta. If angle is involved in the question, you will use this formula. Otherwise, you will use the other formula 1 over 2 base into height. Now is the time of homework. These questions are given. Solve this question. Write the answers in comment box. And if you need to get another lesson and you want to understand the other topic, let me know in the comment box. I will make video for you. That's all for this lesson. Thank you. See you in next lesson.